Today I'll be showing how to quickly and easily install headlight eyelids on a Hyundai Elantra using 3M vinyl. I'm installing the vinyl on a 2022 Elantra N, but this process will work for all 2021 to 2023 Elantra trim levels. First, you'll want to raise your hood as you will need access to the top of your headlights. Next, clean each headlight with rubbing alcohol. For my car, I chose to go with 3M gloss black vinyl. To begin laying the vinyl, cut an 18 inch strip of vinyl from the roll. Align the straight edge of the vinyl with the tip of the front bumper. The vinyl should be just below the tip of the front bumper. And then follow the black line located just above the daytime running light. Once you have the vinyl in position, use blue painter's tape to hold the vinyl in place on the wheel arch. This will help to keep the vinyl in place. Peel back the vinyl from the backing up to the area being held in place by the blue painter's tape. Cut the backing at the same point. Slowly and gently lay the vinyl down onto the headlight, using a smoothing motion as you lay it on the headlight. At this point, you can use your fingers or you can use your squeegee. I recommend a squeegee with a felt bottom to help avoid scratching the vinyl. If you get a kink in the vinyl, pull the vinyl up and smooth that spot as you lay the vinyl back down. Once the vinyl is laid down, use your squeegee to smooth out the headlight again, making sure to go over three key areas. The rear of the headlight that meets the body, the top area normally hidden by the hood, and the small area under the front tip of the bumper. Please note, if you notice scratches in the vinyl, there is a protective film on the vinyl which will be removed at the end of the installation process. Once the vinyl has been laid down, it's time to cut. You will have three cuts to make. The first and second are on the top and rear of the headlights and will have natural lines for you to follow. The third cut will not have a natural line, but it will be a small, easy cut by the front bumper. The top cut will be a straight line using the raised area of the headlight as your line. The second cut will be at the rear of the headlight and wheel arch. Make sure to cut the vinyl closer to the wheel arch. This will allow for extra vinyl that will be tucked. The third cut will be done on the headlight itself. You do not need to press hard to cut the vinyl. The cut will need to be tapered from the front bumper to the daytime running light. After you've finished your cuts, go over the cut areas with a squeegee. Make sure to tuck the vinyl in between the headlight and wheel arch. You may now remove the protective film. If you have small bubbles, that is normal and they will come out with the heat of the sun after a few days, which is similar to tent. If after a few days you notice a large bubble or two, 
Use a small sewing needle to puncture the bubble at a 45 degree angle and gently smooth the air towards the hole that you've made. In this installation, I did not remove the side marker bulbs from the headlights. I tried to keep the installation as simple as possible. I've included shots of what the lights look like during the day and the night. This may vary depending on the color vinyl that you use. Please comment below if you would like a video on how to remove the side marker light bulbs. The vinyl and tools used in this installation are in the description below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content.